Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome to another video. Today we will take a look at our collection of hippos and rhinos and birds and primates. So, okay, so these two boxes are considered small as compared to our other boxes. So, let's have a look at all of them, shall we? Alright, let's check them out. First one right here, we have a hippo calf. This is actually a PNSO hippo. You can see it looks pretty adorable, but do not think a hippopotamus is adorable because they are actually the most ferocious and most dangerous animal in Africa. They have killed more humans than lions. I'm not kidding you. And this figure right here, it's one from Papo. It has been sent to us by a Dan Safarian. Okay, now let's move on to another one. Here we have a small little rhinoceros, and this is also from PNSO. Do you guys know that rhinoceros, the population is actually declining? So do not buy any rhinoceros products. Okay, next we take a look at some. Primates, we have a squirrel monkey, beautiful one right over here, okay? And what do we have right here? This is part of our bird's collection. This is a Kuka Bura, a bird that can be found in Australia. And next, let's have a look at this. Chimpanzees, extremely intelligent, but they can be quite aggressive in nature. Chimpanzees are known to fight and kill each other over territory yep so they are actually very very ferocious they are actually much more aggressive and ferocious as compared to gorillas who are actually more gentle by nature so i really love gorillas gorilla is actually my most favorite primate what about you guys let me know down below here we have another rhinoceros figure and this is from safari ltd it's quite an old figure here we have another one. You can see our collection of rhinoceros is really huge. This one is actually from Schleich. So a lot of people actually poach rhinoceros for their horns, which is a very sad thing. So do not buy any rhinoceros horns, okay? And right here we have a hippo hippopotamus. They are known to be able to open their jaw to a very wide angle almost close to 180 degrees and they have an extremely huge bite force they can crush like a watermelon really easily i've seen them just chomping down watermelons it looks delicious yep and this is an orang utan okay they are actually very docile in gentle as well next we have another primate this is a mandrill with a baby sitting on top of his body very cute and what do we have right here? This it's a hyacinth. What is this? Let me have a look. Hyacinth parrot. Beautiful blue parrot. And speaking of parrots, we have a lot more parrots, okay? We have a macaw right here. This is a red macaw. I think we have a yellow version right over here as well. Really beautiful. And here we have another cockatoo, okay? Beautiful one. And this, it's Flamingo. You guys are very familiar with this. I'm not too sure why this one is doing here. It should be in this box. Or could we just put this box? Because we don't really have a box for mythical creatures. This is actually a unicorn. We also have a mythical creature right here. This is a werewolf. Not exactly like a real character, I would say. Another rhinoceros. This is actually from Collecte. Quite an old figure, 2006. I love rhinoceros because it actually reminds me of Styracosaurus, which is a dinosaur, okay? If you guys have not seen my main channel, do go on to Dan Surprise, plenty of dinosaurs over there, Peppo, okay? And here's another hippopotamus. I love the hippopotamus figures with them just opening the jaw really wide. You can see the teeth, they are really huge, huge teeth. All right, next, we take a look at this. We have another orangutan with the arms wide open and this figure is from Collecte all the way back in 2015 so this is roughly about 9 years old and here we have a Shubu. Shubu are actually pretty large birds and they look like prehistoric birds as well at least to me 
And this is a red red cardinal, a really beautiful one. I've never seen a cardinal before. Perhaps I should do some research and have a look at them on YouTube. And what do we what do we have right here? A turkey. Yep, turkey right over here. This figure is from Collecte. Next we have a bald eagle, which is like the national bird of the United States. Really, really majestic looking. I love it. It looks so elegant. And here we have another really majestic bird. This it's another hour. I'm not too sure what kind of hour this is. It could be a hot hour. Okay, next we have a very very cool blue-footed broody. Okay, so these birds are very very adorable. They will actually walk in an exaggerated manner to attract the female. Okay, so only the males have blue feet, which is very cool. So they will use their blue feet to attract the female, which is very, very adorable, I feel. Proboscis monkey, well known for his huge nose. It looks like a little, you know, like a trumpet when you can press it. It looks so adorable. And speaking of adorable, we have a couple of really cute and adorable primates right here. Two chimpanzee, very young chimpanzees. If I'm not wrong, this is the spider monkey, okay? So just now, we have actually seen a squirrel monkey and this one, it's a spider monkey. They do have similarities, okay? As in the tail, the tails are very long, the limbs are very long, so this actually enables them to climb trees and jump from trees, tree to tree very, very easily, yep. And here we have another mythical creature this is the pegasus so pegasus is also like a legendary it's not really it's not a real animal it's not real life it's basically found in like fairy tales so it's basically a horse with wings very cool horse next what do we have right here is this a falcon let's have a look it's actually a peregrine falcon Okay, they can fly up to very, very high speeds. And this one is a beautiful token. Alright, token. Do you guys know that I have hornbills around my area and they look very similar to tokens? Next, we have a flightless bird. This bird can fly but they can run really fast. This is the ostrich. So it looks like a dinosaur to me. Okay, next we head back to our hippopotamus. What do we have right here? Another Safari LTD Hippopotamus. Really, really beautiful one. And here we have a rhinoceros. A huge one, you can see this first horn, it's so huge. I need to clean this figure up later on, definitely. It's a white rhinoceros from Collecte, made in 2013. So it's like 11 years old, which is, I think a lot older than many of you guys are watching this right now. This is a beautiful Safari LTD. Hippopotamus. So hippopotamus, you know, do you guys know that alligators, crocodiles, not, not alligators, crocodiles are actually afraid of hippopotamus, a fully grown hippopotamus. Because they are so aggressive, they can easily defeat a crocodile. Yeah, so they will actually stay away from hippopotamus. And here's another rhinoceros, really, really beautiful one as well from Safari LTD. Next, we take a look at more birds. Another flightless bird, another prehistoric looking bird. This is the Castle Warrior. Castle Warrior can be very aggressive as well, so you have to be careful if you are near one of them. Okay, so what is this? This is the Diana monkey. It looks very cute. It actually has a little goatee right here, which makes it look very, very significant. It's easily recognizable. Vulture. They are basically scavengers, they will eat the carcasses left by um, other animals. For example, if a lion is eating like a zebra and they're like leftover meat, the vulture will be there to clean it up. You know, like a, like a whole group of vultures will clean them up in a matter of seconds. Next, and this is actually very very important for the environment because if the carcasses are left behind, there will be spreading of germs, plenty of germs. So the vulture actually plays a very, very important part in the ecosystem. And here we have a chimpanzee right over here. It's highly intelligent. Next, what do we have right here? Is this a pelican? I think so. A really beautiful one. 
And here, what is this? It looks like a pelican as well. Let's have a look. Black face spoon bugle. Okay, not a pelican. No, I beg your pardon. And here we have a kiwi. All right, nice one. And what about this one? Do you guys know what is this? Is this a stalk? I'm not exactly sure. This is an albatross. Okay, they can be found near like beaches and stuff like that. And here we have a beautiful peacock. They are able to sort of like retract their feathers. They can close them, they can open them. Once it is open, it really, really, you know, um, it's really, really gorgeous. Yeah, it's really, really beautiful. Next, what do we have right here? I think this is a hawk, a red tail hawk, if I'm not wrong. Let's try to see the name, red tail hawk, right there. And what do we have right here? A barn hour, I think. Let's try to find its name, barn hour. They look very, very beautiful. I think the head they can turn up to like 200 plus degrees. They can almost make a 360 degrees turn with the head. We have two kiwis right here, another chimpanzee. And this is known as a lorikeet. I've actually seen them before in my local bird park, which is known as Bird Paradise in Singapore. And I've seen them, they are really beautiful. Plenty of different colors, like green, yellow, red, blue. Just really, really beautiful. Next, we have the gibbon, which is very similar to, to the sp spider monkey because it has it also has very long limbs but does not have a long tail it does not have a tail okay and this is the anhingar a black bird right over here really gorgeous looking another albatross we have like two or three albatross in our collection i think and this is another voucher king voucher so there are many species of different vultures and here we have the great horn hour and you can see this hour seems to be like swooping down to catch its prey like a little mouse or a little rabbit and here we have a penguin not too sure what a penguin is doing here because we should be putting this into our penguins box which is like the sea animal box and here we have a long eared hour you can see the two ears are really really long so this actually gives them very very good hearing so ours they have extremely good hearing so they are able to listen very closely at night to allow them to catch their prey easily and next we have another gorilla this is a nice one okay a really beautiful gorgeous hamson looking silverback gorilla let's have a look this is from schleich and here we have a mandrill really really beautiful one and this it's another castle worry if i'm not wrong yep this is a snowy hour snowy hour snowy hours are white in color which allows them to camouflage themselves really well in the snowy environment so when once it stays still it's really hard to spot it because it just blends in with the snow so the prey won't be able to detect it easily and they will just swoop down when the prey is not alert and here with a little duck i have no idea what kind of duck this is so if you guys know do help me out down below and let me know what it is okay next over here what do we have this is a tamarind monkey a beautiful one i think we only have one of this and what is this this seems to be a raven or could it be a crow yeah it is a raven nice Okay, another peacock right over here, beautiful one. Another gorilla, a Hampson, strong, powerful silverback gorilla. And this one is a lemur. Lemur is well known for the striped tail. They are very, very fast as well. It's known as the ring tail lemur. And here is another macaw. Our last figure is actually, okay, not exactly our last, our last figure from the Birds and Primates box. It's a little barn owl. Cute, very cute. And here we have another hippopotamus, which I have no idea which manufacturer made this. And here's another hippopotamus, really cute. A rhinoceros calf. You can see the, the horn is not even fully grown yet. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what. And another hippopotamus. We have so many of them. I need to clean the hippopotamus up. And the last one, which is from PNSO, okay? So this is basically my collection of hippopotamus, rhinos, primates, and birds. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.
probably on Monday. I'll see you guys there, okay? Subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber. Turn the bell notification on. And if you guys want to have a personalized video from me, just go on to the About Arts tab or the link in the description box. You can make an order for a customized video for you, okay? I'll just send a video over to you for any of your friends, for yourself. You can also purchase your Chongqi. How many of you guys have actually got yours? This is our very own exclusive plush figure, limited edition, only available on dancesurprisestore.com, link in the description box. I'll see you guys there. This will be running out really soon, so make sure you grab yours. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.